Biomechanics of Running, Part 2, Kinetics, a series of Biomech Talk. In our last video about running, we talked about mechanical objectives, and each time we have a foot contact in running, we're either trying to speed up, slow down, or maintain our velocity. Today we're talking about kinetics, or forces, which are causing those changes in velocity during running. So how is this happening? When the foot is in contact with the ground, we are generating a ground reaction force, which is shown in green. And if our horizontal impulse is more positive or pointed in the direction we're trying to run, then we will speed up. On the left-hand side, I was trying to maintain a steady state velocity. And on the right-hand side, I was trying to increase my horizontal velocity, which you can see is reflected in the change in horizontal velocity. On the right-hand side, I was able to increase my velocity by 1.07 meters per second in this foot contact, whereas on the left-hand side, I was basically able to stay at zero. To break down how this is happening, you can see that the area under the orange curve on the left side is basically equal to each other for positive and negative, whereas on the right hand side I have a lot more propulsive force or more positive force acting in the direction that I'm trying to run. So we can increase our horizontal velocity if our propulsive impulse is larger than our braking impulse. We can stay the same if braking and propulsion are approximately equal, 